Okay, so let's talk a little bit about what's here and the possibilities. First of all, the big crater that you see here is not the only one. Little Hebe is up there, and there's two others as you go up around that rim. So don't be satisfied just to be here. Even if you go no further than just up to that one right there, and even if you don't carry anything, if you just stroll, it's worth it. The, um, the thing to watch out for is like we're seeing in here, the shadows where they're harsh are going to break up the form. We're going to have that today, that's just the way it is. So as you're looking at things and trying to determine what you want to photograph, keep in mind those darks and lights may overcome and dominate any natural form or color arrangement that you're really keying in on with your head and trying to decide where the photograph is. Like all of that alluvial, or all that erosion in there is something we see on our head and we're like, oh wow, look at that, that's great. And then when you make the photograph with all the dark shadows, it's really just about the shape of all those broken shadows. So if you happen to be tight on the subject, you'd probably be better to swing into the shade to get the, just the natural form, just because it's going to be more softly rendered. You with me? Mm -hmm. Okay. And we've gone through a fair altitude change too, I'm not sure, but it's enough if you had a color balance earlier, go ahead and do another one.